In this episode, learn how to control images and videos using StreamerBot, be it a cat jam, a dog jam, or a great steggy stomp. Hello, and welcome to StreamerBot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome StreamerBot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. To control images and videos using StreamerBot, you first need to have Streamlabs OBS or Slobs connected. If you haven't done this already, please check out StreamerBot Bytes episode 12 on how to do this. Next, we need to set up Streamlabs OBS or Slobs. You can just add in an element into an existing scene and to control it with StreamerBot, that's quite easy to do. But I want to share here the best practice if you are trying to add these elements in. And it's good to start off this way because it makes it easier as time goes on. So rather than adding in an element to a scene, we're going to create a separate scene just for the animations that we're going to do today. This means that you can share that across multiple scenes. The way we do this is we create an additional scene, and this time, we, this, this one we're going to call Alerts. And within that scene, we can actually include that as part of other scenes. So if we go plus, go down to the bottom here, select Scene. We're going to add in the Alerts scene into Scene 1. And Scene 2, we're going to do the same. Add Scene and alerts. So this means when we add something to the alert scene, it's going to show up in other scenes that I've got here set up. This makes it really easy if you want to have something show up maybe on your just chatting screen or your gaming scene. So now I've got the scenes set up, we're ready to add in the elements into that. So make sure we're in the alert scene. And this bit's actually really easily. I would keep the uh, images and video you want in a particular location, but we can just drag these across and drag them all off over one by one. So there's a cat jam, there's a dog jam, and there's a Stegosaurus stomp from the great streamer there. And see that's going away, banging away the uh, Bigfoot. So what we're just gonna to hide that. So we can then move and resize images. So we want to place them where we want to appear and the size we want them to be. So we want to dog that side, cat that side, perfect. And when we finish them, we can just hide them. Now if you look in scene one and scene two, it's not showing those elements just in the alerts. And so what we'll do with streamer bot is enable these and then disable them after a particular amount of time. So we can do it there, we can do multiple combinations of. And that's it from the OBS side. All the rest is to be set up in a streamer pod. And it's worth noting that if you want to be able to um, pass in the sound from the, the clips, you'll need to bring up the properties of this and to do the audio monitoring to monitor only mute output. So when that's done, you should be able to hear it come through. So now we're ready to create the actions. So we just need to give the action a name. So cat jam. The sub action we're gonna use this time is the slobs action. And set source visibility state is what we need. So this is controlling the little eye icon where we were toggling back and off in slobs. Uh, to show the images and video. The source we want is the cat jam. I'm going to say it is visible. Now, if we just had that on, it's going to turn on, leave it on. So what we're likely to want to do is to have a delay. So 3000 milliseconds, so three seconds later, I want to add in another slobs source visibility state 
again for the cat jam to be hidden. So we enable it, wait the time we want to have it showing and then disable it. We can add another one for dog jam. Okay, and again, slobs source visibility state for dog jam this time to visible. Again, another delay for about 3000 seconds. If you want to be slightly quicker, we can duplicate that initial visible and change it to hidden afterwards. Finally, we want to do a steggy stomp. Again, just using that same visibility state and stomp there, visible. Going to do a delay for just under two seconds there. Again, duplicating that so we can set it hidden afterwards. So we've got the action set up. Now it's worthwhile noting by default we do not have a queue here. So if these actions should only run one at a time, you'll probably want to set up a queue and use a blocking queue. So that's in settings and general. So you can set up a blocking queue, add it that way. But in this case, we want to just have it with the free control from the commands. So speaking of commands, let's create them now. So we're going to do a cat jam command. And so let's do the cat jam and I'll leave it by default for everything else. Again, we're going to have a dog jam. Dog jam here. And finally, estimation mark stomp command for the steggy stomp. Now with actions, you can call them by commands like this. You could do channel point rewards that also call these actions too. So now we're ready to test. So we can simply test with the relevant command. So you've got cat jam, dog jam, and the stomp. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media, and to stream a bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.